We're back and we wanted to talk about a little bit about supplements. We've touched on it um, in some of the earlier um, sections. But one of the things with supplements, as I've mentioned before, is that um, starting slowly is always the way to go. Um, if you know that you're a sensitive person, that is especially true. But I always recommend that people take a few weeks to get up to the three times a day dosage, just in general. Um, and if you're a really sensitive person, I found that sometimes people can only do two doses per day. That doesn't mean that you're not doing the full program. It means you're doing the full program to what your body is capable of doing. Um, and over time, as the body gets healthier, I feel like that, that will shift and change. And so, um, again, if you're unsure, get in touch with your practitioner and they can guide you with that. Um, for people that are sensitive, there's some uh, supplements that tend to be a little bit more stimulating. Again, most people don't even notice that they're stimulating. Um, but for sensitive people, they can be. And those are ones that are mostly on the slow oxidizer program, which would be Megapan, Thyroid Complex, Endodren. Kelp can be stimulating for some people. Um, and sometimes people find Lincomin st stimulating. It's not one of the ones we think is stimulating, but once in a while a person can find those to be more stimulating. If you are a person that has difficulty with sleep, um, especially when you're first starting the program, um, I would recommend doing those more stimulating supplements only in the morning and the noon doses and to leave it out with the evening doses. If you find that they interfere with your sleep, you can also increase and take more paramin or even a little bit more lecithin before bed um, if you notice that difficulty with sleep. Um, so there are some ones that are essential supplements. And again, if you're unsure, you can ask your practitioner. Those ones are sort of the core of the program. There are some ones that are optional, um, such as selenium, um, endovades, and renamide. They're all wonderful supplements for me, for my clients, especially if people are, um, you know, over about 40 or older. The renamide is a wonderful one to include because our kidneys do tend to take um, a bit of a, a hit in terms of getting rid of toxins and metals, especially over time. A lot of people that are, are seniors end up with weaker kidney function just due to that. So I personally love that supplement, or especially if a person is going through a detox. Um, but with those particular ones that are optional, um, I have some people that will just include them, but at a lesser dose, and that's fine as well. So that's definitely something that you can get in touch with with your practitioner. Um, lastly, I find that um, some people with some sensitive digestive issues, or if you're a bit older, um, grinding the supplements. This is true actually for young kids as well. Grinding the supplements and mixing them with food, even though they're a little bit, it's a little bit more work to do, can help the supplements absorb a little bit better, and sometimes people tolerate them a little bit better as well. So, just some tips, and again, different things will work for different people. So sometimes it's just a matter of, of experimenting with that. Yeah, I just wanted to add. Um, most practitioners are going to say this, but. Um, if you can eat three to four cans of sardines every week, that means you can yes. skip the vitamin D um, and the EPA, DHA fish oil. Um, I also wanted to touch on trimethylglycine. Trimethylglycine is, is a bit like a detox supplement. Um, trimethylglycine can make you feel better on it, or it can push you through a healing reaction if you're going through it. So I'll give you an example. Say you detox in a bit of copper and you're getting mind racing, anxiety, uh, you're freaking out a little bit. TMG, can you can actually take a bit of TMG and it'll push, it, push you through the healing reaction. This does take a little bit of experience because it can actually sometimes increase the healing reaction or it can decrease it, you know. So it, it does take some experience, something that you're probably going to have to talk to your practitioner about. But as you've become more experienced with the program, if you know that you're going through a slight healing reaction, it's not too intense, you can push it through using TMG, which is quite quite useful. Um, I also wanted to touch on Limcomin, because some people freak out a little bit because Limcomin's got a bit of copper inside of it. Um, a lot of people know about copper toxicity when they come into contact with the Nutrition Balancing Program. 
Um, copper toxicity is a little bit more complex than people think. People can be copper toxic inside the cells, but also copper deficient in the blood. Um, there's a very important ratio called the sodium potassium ratio. Uh, and when that's low, you need a little bit of copper to get that into balance. Um, trust me, when you've got a low NAK ratio, it doesn't feel good. So that extra copper in the limb come in, once balances out that sodium potassium ratio, and it really, really helps you to move forward with the program. So it's important not to think that the nutrition balancing program is just a copper program or copper is your biggest problem um, because um, it's really a very complex situation. So don't worry too much if you've got limb come in and we've also told you uh, you've got copper toxicity. Exactly. Okay, great. And, and um, lecithin is a newer supplement that has been added and I find that that also is showing to be helpful with people going through healing reactions as well. And, uh, and that is something that people can actually take more of if they're experiencing anxiety or having trouble sleeping or just need a little bit of calming. Um, so that's definitely been uh, a nice addition as well to the program. Um, so did you want to talk a little bit about backing yeah. off during healing reactions? Yeah. Yeah. So as, I've men as we mentioned a little bit in the previous videos, uh, one big aspect of the Nutrition Balancing Program is healing reactions. In many ways, the program is a detox program. And if you actually follow the lines down of symptoms right at the root cause, you'll generally find toxins, whether it be uh, chemical toxins or heavy metals. So we really, really need to get these out of the system. But when you're going through um, a healing reaction, sometimes the supplements can make the healing reaction feel worse. So in general, what the best thing to do is if you think you're going through a healing reaction is to back off the supplements and speak to your practitioner. Um, the supplement regime is quite complex. So your practitioner might tell you to increase certain supplements and decrease certain supplements. But in the beginning, that's probably going to be a bit too complex for you to figure out. So in general, the best thing to do is if you're going through a healing reaction, Reduce the dosage, maybe stop while you get in touch with your practitioner. Your practitioner can have a chat to you, uh, figure out what the causes are, and they can give you a more targeted supplement regime that's going to help you with that specific healing reaction. Sometimes it's a good idea to back off supplements for a few days until you get over it. Sometimes it's good to increase TMG, for example. Sometimes it's, it's good to um, increase paramin. But again, it's something that your practitioner is going to help you with. And as you get further along the program with much more experience, you can figure that out much more easily in general. Yeah, that's great. And, and with the backing off of the supplements, really it's a matter that the supplements sometimes help encourage more metal release. And so by backing off, it simply allows your body to catch up a little bit, right? Sometimes it's just it just needs a couple of days to do that. Um, Getting in touch with your practitioner is really important if you feel like you're going through a period where, um, you know, something has shifted and you were feeling good on your program and now you're not. And sometimes it's a matter of trying to differentiate, well, is this just a healing reaction I need to back off? Or does my program need changing even before a retest? So there are certain patterns um, where people... Uh, the shifting and changing can make quite a big difference to what their program is going to be. And that is if they're in a four lows pattern and perhaps they've come out of that pattern, if the NAK has either gone up or down, it can make a difference to the supplement program if you switched from slow to fast oxidation or the reverse from fast to slow. So what generally happens is if you get in touch with your practitioner, your practitioner will get in touch with Dr. Wilson and review that and see if your program needs changing even before a retest. Um, and the reason why we recommend retests every three to four months is simply for that reason, is that the body can shift and change. And it means that if you're not retesting on time and your body has shifted, you're sometimes actually not moving forward anymore, right? You're moving in sort of the direction, sort of the opposite direction. So that's why those retests are really important and key, um, especially in the first few years on the program. After a person has been on the program for a few years, I find that they can space that out a little bit. Um, and then if they notice, wow, something has shifted, because you just get more in tune with your body, then you can do a retest a little bit sooner. But especially in the early years, those retests are key. 
Um, so just to keep that in mind, and if you were feeling great and you no longer are, and you know it doesn't really feel like a healing reaction, as I said, please get in touch with your practitioner. Sometimes it's a matter of just a simple program change that needs to be done even before the next retest. Yeah. And it's really challenging sometimes to figure out whether it's a healing reaction or a program change. Yeah. Um, it's something that you really need to speak to your practitioner about because it's, it, you know, it took me quite a few years to, to figure this sort of stuff out. I mean, in general, um, if all of a sudden you was in slow oxidation, then you feel anxious, jittery. Um, you feel like life is moving really quick. You're super paranoid over a prolonged period of time. You can wake up, you know, you wake up in the morning and you bolt out of bed sometimes. Generally, you've switched into more of a fast oxidation. Um, sometimes all of a sudden you'll just not sleep for some reason. Uh, again, this could be a detox, could be a copper detox, but you might have slipped into four lows, for example. Um, so again, it's something you need to speak to your practitioner about. Sometimes you get an NAK shift, you know, sometimes you'll all of a sudden you'll have this kind of impending doom. It can be really bad when the NAK switches and you feel depressed and just down and you feel like you're going, sometimes you think you're going for a healing reaction, but in reality, your NAK has shifted. And I'll have clients who haven't had retests for a long time and they'll get in touch with me and they're like, Lewis, you know, I'm just really fed up with the program. I'm constantly feeling bad. You know, and they, they just think they're going through a healing reaction. We'll yeah. get the test back and their program's completely changed. And I'll say to them, man, your program's completely changed. All of your supplements have changed. And as soon as we get that client on a new supplement regime, sometimes within hours, they will feel different. It's quite mm -hmm. astounding. You know, so that's yeah. why it's so important to get a retest every three to six months. And yeah. I know it's a little bit, I suppose it's a bit awkward as a practitioner because we don't want to come across as get a retest every three months. Do you know what I mean? We want more money, blah, blah, blah. It's not about that. It's yeah. generally more about Dr. Wilson has refined the program so much uh, over the years that it is quite easy for the body to shift from, a, from an old program to a new program. And you will really be astounded the difference it will make if you gen, gen, genuinely have a supplement change. And, uh, you know, we can, we've got question forms for you to fill out. Uh, as practitioners with experience, you can ask a few questions and you can usually kind of feel into the client and figure out what's gone off. And um, as I say, within days, you can be feeling much better again. Yeah. Cool. Did you want to add anything to that, Susan? I think that's it. I think that that completes it for that section. Cool. Yeah. So brilliant. That's the supplement section. Uh, the next section is going to be about saunas and sauna light therapy. So I'll see you in the next video.